Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is forecasting techniques, whole winter multiplicative model with seasonality and trend. This is one of the most powerful hot winters models that we have, this one and the additive one. And the additive one, we also have a video about that, and the video is in our uh, playlist, so check it out there. So, when do we use it? Uh, this model applies to time series whose amplitude increases or decreases over time, and is based on the equation uh, A plus B times seasonality from the previous year. So if I am, I have annual data, so from January to December, and I want to forecast January, so FT plus one, where December is the last actual data that we have, A for December plus B for December, ST minus S, so ST minus S means previous December plus one, previous January. So forecasting January, a plus B of December times seasonality from previous January. And he, here we have the formulas. We will go through the formulas when we go to the Excel file, but it's based on three co uh, components, uh, a level, trend, and seasonality. So alpha, beta, and epsilon. And for the forecast, uh, we, we've we seen the formula for the next period. However, if I want to forecast more than one period, more than one month or more than one quarter, then we need to add K. So FT plus K, two periods ahead. Uh, A for December plus B for December times two, two trends, times seasonality from the previous December plus two, so previous February. And the initial models for A is the average of the first year. So average, uh, and then uh, average of the first four, if we are talking about quarterly data, uh, first 12, if we are talking about monthly data. Seasonality, actual number divided by 80. Uh, and then, so we need A before the S. And the B, that is, kind of weird formula, that is the number for the next year. So we need at least two years to start our model. So usually the multiplicative model requires at least three years of data. So the first two to start it, and then the third one to actually run the model. So if we are talking about January, following January minus the current January divided by S, Four, if we are talking about quarterly data. Twelve, if we are talking about monthly data. The following plus the following February minus actual fe February divided by 12, and then we are adding. At the very end, divided by 12 again. But if we go to some math simplification, it's basically the sum of the next year numbers minus the sum of the actual year numbers divided by 12, divided by 12, again. So divided by 144 or square 12. So let's see how does it work in our Excel file. So here we have alpha, beta, and epsilon with random coefficients here, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3. So for the level, the first year is the average of the first year. So the same number, every year. The trend will also be the same number. Here I have the complete formula. Let's try for the next one because they, they will be the, the same. The simplified formula next year minus the previous year divided by 12 divided by 12 again. So equal parentheses here, parentheses sum of the second year minus the sum of the actual year here uh, divided by 12 square root 12. Whoops. Sum 
parentheses. Oops, okay. Divided by 12, and then let's close the first. Okay, let's close the first parenthesis here, and then let's close the second parenthesis divided by 12. Again, so yes, matter of, of parentheses here. So the sum uh, of the following year minus the current year divided by 12 divided by 12. So here we have the two different formulas with the same results. And for the seasonality, actual divided by level. So we don't need the trend. Actually, the level and seasonality formulas are the same formulas for the no trained model. If we just delete the known trend, the trend here, it oops, it will change because of the uh, forecast that we need the trend. But it will not change the level and, and seasonality. Okay, so it will change only for the following years, but not for the first numbers. Then, okay, the level for the uh, first month of the second year, alpha, times actual number divided by the seasonality of the same month on the previous year, plus one minus alpha times previous level, because here, remember, we are going to the T plus one, so here the previous level plus previous trend. And then we copy and paste this formula to all of our data. For the level, beta times actual level minus previous level, plus one minus beta times the previous trend. And seasonality, so we are talking about these formulas here, okay? Uh, and seasonality, epsilon times actual number divided by level plus one minus epsilon times the previous seasonality. And the forecast, previous level plus previous trend multiplied by seasonality of the year before. And then we copy and paste this formula until the first forecast, that is okay. However, the second forecast we add this time to here. And then, okay, how do we know if this Coefficients are good using the MAP, the mean absolute percentage error. So for each forecast, absolute difference between forecast and sales revenue divided by sales revenue. So forecast minus actual divided by actual for all of our known numbers. And then the MAP is the average of these errors. So here's 6.6. .6. And here we have some good ones or not good forecast so okay how do we find the optimal coefficients using data solver however what if we don't have this solver where can we find it file options addings excel addings go and then solver if i click here it will disappear and then options addings go solver okay solver is here again so solver and let's reset okay so let's do it again so what do we want here we want the map to be minimized and then by changing what cells the coefficients and solve nothing else and here c is not 0 1 0 2 and 0 3 anymore the chart is a little bit better and the may moves from 6 to 4% so 
one third uh, less than the, and here, especially on the second year, the numbers are very, very good. Especially here, the, the next years, the numbers are good. So that's it, guys. Not an easy model, but you can come back. You can download this file. The, the link to download it is in the video description. And you can watch this video how many times you want. So thank you so much. Questions or comments, just leave them here or email me. Have a very nice day and God bless you.